Hey everybody, it's your girl Robin from Robin's Nest and welcome to my channel. Come on and let's get started because we are going to make some beautiful wall outlet covers using resin and alcohol inks. Yes, we're going to do that cute trinket box. We're going to do the toggle cover. We're going to do the uh, electric outlet cover. We're going to do the switch cover. So come on, climb in my nest and let's get started. So I've already mixed up my resin and I've got my molds laid out. Um, my resin is getting a little warm, so I need to move a little fast. We have the double outlet switch. We have the toggle switch cover and we have the socket cover, okay? And I have my um, alcohol inks here because that's what I'm going to be using today. I am going to um, do a little something a little different uh, with my resin. Um, and I have all of my supplies and I am going to um, get started by pouring the resin um, into my my molds so that I can um, get it in before it starts to cure okay so make sure that you measure your resin equal parts if you need four ounces altogether you want to do two ounces of part A and two ounces of part B and remember these outlet covers are not very deep so you don't really need a whole lot so i mixed up just enough so that i can um fill up these three and i'll probably have a little bit left over where i can put in my little um uh, cube and or even my pyramid Thank you so much for joining me today also. So if you have not done so, I hope that you will subscribe, like, comment, share my video, tell your friends about it, and um, leave me a comment and hit that notification bell so that you will know when I post another video. And this helps me out with my channel and I really appreciate it. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorials that I've done so far. So I'm going to just make sure that I have um, poured the resin where it is uh, just at the top. You want to make sure that you don't overflow it. That's the worst thing that you can do is overflow. You want to make sure that it's up around the edges. So I'm going to uh, shake up my alcohol ink and I'm going to start uh, dropping some and I want to start out with the white first and as you can see my drops are coming out like double you just want one drop in the area that you want it and I did not find out until later on that what you need to do is hold the bottles straight up and down so that the drop will just come right out I had no idea that I was doing it wrong but I'll learn later on and you'll see that later on in this tutorial so I'm going to drop some purple and as you know alcohol ink really makes its own design it sort of finds its way and as you can see it's really spreading out really nice it's sort of like trying to find out what type of design it really wants to go in Sometimes you only have to take a tool and just swirl it around just a little bit to, um, to your own liking. I like the coral. The coral is pretty. So that's what I'm going to do now is just, uh, you know, put the different inks in. So I'm speeding it up now because I still got a little ways to go and dropping all of this alcohol ink in and um, just fasting it forward so that you don't have to be bored and watching it. Look at how pretty that uh, alcohol ink is finding its way in that big one. It'll soon do the same thing with the toggle one too. 
myself, I only have like uh, maybe one or two toggle outlets and um, maybe one double switch outlet. It seems like people are getting away from the, the switches they're using the toggles, but I, I haven't gotten there yet. So I'm going to beautify my outlets with the colors of my rooms that will match real nice. Now the outlets covers that I'm doing right now does not match anything in my home. This is just a tutorial to show you just how you can do that. And of course, I've made a mess. I forgot to put the top on that really tight. So you gotta make sure you do that. So yeah, you make a mess and it's a waste. And it had to be purple, right? <laughs> but we'll clean that up and we will move forward these are some of the things that I do not edit out of my videos to let you know that yes, we do make a mess. Yes, we do make mistakes. And here you'll see that I found out if you hold that vertical, it will drip out one drip at a time. I wish, really wish I had uh, brought all of my alcohol inks out so that I could do all three of these in different colors because I'm using the same colors in all three of them but I will do that next time so now I'm going to take my dot tool and I'm going to go all through it and I'm going to sort of swirl it and try to make some type of uh, design that maybe I would like or see what I can do this is my first time doing it with the alcohol ink for the outlet covers so now I'll push that aside and now I have some resin left over and I have this little trinket mold that I think I am going to mix up some resin um, and I'm going to do this um, little trinket box with the rest of the, the uh, with the rest of the resin that I have left over. So you should always have something like that on the side so that when you have something left over you can just grab it and then make something else beautiful. Because my plans were not to make that little trinket box. It was just to do the covers. But because I had that left over and I didn't want to waste it and that's what I decided I would do is make that little trinket holder and it's so cute and I don't think I have enough to do the bottom part of the trinket box and the top so I may have to and as a matter of fact I know I am I'm gonna have to mix up some more to do on um, the top stir that up really good so it's nice and mixed real good and um, so we won't have any that's all so that all of it won't float or sink down to the bottom so if you mix it up really good it'll all be equally spread out and will float all over the place when you pour it in And this is my first time using this little mold. I can't wait to see the results. I was so excited because I hadn't used it before and I've been waiting patiently to have some leftover resin so that I can make something really pretty in that mold. Yeah, I'm gonna have to make some more resin mix some more resin 
because I'm not going to have enough really for the for the trinket and I also need some for the top I'm going to scrape all of that out Yep, I'm going to need some more. I'm just shimmying that around so that it, I will see how much more I need to make. So, that's the top. And I am going to definitely have to make some more. Alright, I mixed it up. And I poured, filled up the trinket. And I already poured the top. So everything's all set. I'm going to spritz to make sure I get all the bubbles. And this is how I clean it up. I, I clean up my containers, um, my measuring cup rather, with the baby wipes. And I spritz the alcohol in it. And it's easy peasy clean up. Always, always clean your cups as soon as you're, 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 you're done. And just wipe them out with a paper towel real good and then the alcohol or the baby wipes and it's really nice and clean no problems I'm gonna let these cure and I'll be back and we are back and as you can see they are cured I, my smaller ones are still a little flexible for some reason, alcohol ink takes longer to cure than mecca powder. So we're going to demold these carefully, not to bend them too much because like I said, they are still kind of flexible. And there you are. That's the front. And I think it's kind of pretty. It's not too busy. It's sort of made a little swirl. Sometimes I like the back better than I do the front. And let's see what this one looks like. And this is what I mean when I say I wish I had have used other colors. There you go. And then for the double one, this one would be a nice, I think I'm gonna try and see what this one looks like in my kitchen, just to see how it looks. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. That's pretty. You like that? Yeah. Nice and shiny. I like it. And um, see, yeah, that's still a little flexible. So now let's take a look at the jewelry trinket box. Let's uh, demold that top first. It's kind of tight on there. And I am so excited to see what this one looks like. <gasps> look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so pretty. By the way, that was the opal uh, white iris um, glitter. It was kind of chunky. I got it from Amazon. And... Um, I, I thought it came out really pretty and here is the bottom part look at that is that beautiful or what I really like that let's put that top on see how it fits and yes it's a perfect fit and you can put your necklace in at night you can put your earrings in at night when you take them off like me I'm gonna take my rings off and put it in so that you can see what it looks like yeah I think that's really pretty let's take this one off and put in here too and it didn't cost you an arm and a leg you made it yourself okay
so yeah I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial again you have a double uh, and you have the toggle and then you have the electrical plug outlet okay so um, stay tuned to more projects stay tuned to you know us having fun uh, making more beautiful things using resin thank you for joining me in my nest this is Robin from Robin's Nest until next time.